Welcome! Today I will be showing a new knife that I picked up from Arizona Custom Knives. They just had to post something right before Blade Show that I wanted. So, what knife is it? It is the Lone Wolf D2, made by Harzi, or designed by Harzi. So this is a very neat knife, a very expensive Lone Wolf knife also, but it got it at a fantastic price. It came with the paperwork, as you can see here. So you can see the manual action as well as, or the manual method and the automatic method. So I'll be reading through that. I actually haven't read it. But let's look at the knife. As you can see, I have two of them. However, Benchmade was going to make a version of it themselves. However, Benchmade couldn't heat treat the springs right or something like that. And they only made, I think, about 50 of them. And those were for people to learn how to fix them and work on them. So these are a very rare and limited knife. Probably one of the rarest Benchmades other than the Customs. So there you go. Um, the one I have, this Benchmade NTK uh, 3800, is actually broken. Um, the leaf spring in it actually had broken. I talked to one of the heads of a department at Benchmade. They were able to get me a new spring. They put it in here, but still didn't fix it. It now wants to open automatically without pressing the hidden release. So I just took the spring out, and it's a manual action knife now. So let's take a look at the actual Lone Wolf one that has a good spring. So we have a satin blade. One thing I find funny about this is it is named the D2, although it uses S30V blade steel. I find that kind of funny. It is made in the USA, has some rust on it or some spotting. William Harzi design. Has a rubbery grippy handle. And I'm guessing you can't really see. We may be able to see the hidden release button on here. So to close it up, you have to get over the spring. Of course it can be opened up manually, just like that. Let's see if I can get this in frame as well as flick it open. And to open it up automatically, you press right here. On this one there's actually no indent, so you really have to know exactly where to push. But you push down and it opens up very nice um, torsion bar. Of course, the torsion bar looks exactly like this. Just a hardened piece of steel. I may end up having a custom maker try to work on this and see if they can fix it. You can see the indent a little bit better on this one. But here we go. A full flat grind on it. Of course, it does not go all the way down to the edge. It's not a zero grind, I should say. I believe it's a 4.2 inch blade. Um, where's something that we can compare it to? Just as a size reference. Um, here is. Oh! Cold Steel Recon 1. So kind of compare it in size to that. It's almost the exact same size as you can see there. Let's get a little better view like that. And there you go. There is my new knife. Um, I'll be going to Blade Show this weekend. So if you're interested in seeing anything at Blade Show, let me know. And I will definitely be trying to film it there. So have a great day. If you're if you will be attending Blade Show, send me an email at the next archer at gmail.com. Um, and there you go. See you guys later. Have a great day. If you see me at Blade, say hello. Let's put some of my business cards around here. It's like little watermarks on my video. I wonder whose video this is.
Hmm. The next Archer. See you guys later. Have a great day. And that was actually a rather short video.